Well, what's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. It's Lizzie Atkins here. Thank you all for staying with me on my beautiful journey and to my new viewers who have just clicked on this video. Thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you watch it to the end and enjoy my content and I hope you join the family. Today I am, I am following slick slick makeup guideline on how to how to contour your face so i went ahead and bought the palette i bought a medium and this came with it and i thought okay let's follow the instructions and yes let's go and contour our face following the guidelines so let's get okay i have got no foundation on because it does not say i'll apply on foundation or before foundation or after foundation mm. so i'm just gonna go right into it and i'm just gonna read it says how to use your cream contour kit the ultimate contouring guide discover how to use your cream contour kit to sculpture enhance and create the illusion of beautifully defined features. Number one, apply shade one underneath the eye to brighten. So that is shade one. Okay, that's, that's that. That for me, I wouldn't personally go for that first on my eye. But apply shade one, it says, okay. So we apply. Is whoa, this is too bright. I'm looking too scary. I'm just gonna blend that in. Two, apply shade six to the hollows of the cheek from the bottom, from the top of your ears, right here to the corner of my mouth. So from here to there, right? Let's go. This, this is looking horrible. Okay, so I blended that in. Next step is to apply shade five or from the top of your forehead down to the bottom, to the top of your temple. So like here, shade five should be like here. Like that. This is the worst, I swear. I swear to you guys, this is like the worst. So five, it's saying five, this is five. And I'll apply five to that area. Four, apply shade four down each side of the nose. So um, they say inside, like this, my side, my not right? Okay. Number five, apply three, shade three along or along the top of the cheekbone. So we're saying shade three should come here and here. Apply shade two on the center of your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, on the cubic bowl, and across your chin. Boom, boom. And now it says, sleek makeup tips. For smooth application, use an angled brush. The key to a flawless finish is to blend, blend, blend. Wow. Like, yeah. What happens to this side? What happens to this side? This side? This side? This side? Yeah, okay. Here I understand. I gotta blend all of this. In. Mm. 
Okay, see, so this is ridiculous. Either I, you've made your medium palette too bright, or you've just chosen the wrong color for each side of the contouring. For example, on my under eye, I wouldn't go with shade one. I would have actually gone with shade four for my under eye. This right here, I would have gone for my under eye. Right? Number two, this this is actually right. This is not bad because that's easily blend in, gives you that hollow look. And uh shade six. I'm sorry, it looks like I didn't even put anything on. Like I literally got nothing on. But let's go right into blend, blind, blend. blend let's blend this bad boy in and see what we come up with so i have actually blended in the um my side six so i'm just gonna let's blend it all together let's blend 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 they said key is to blend blend and blend i blended all in and this is what I look like, a full red sleeks guideline on how to contour. I look like masquerade. And I did not powder in, but even if you've not powdered in, if you contour and you've contoured right, you'd see the difference. If you was to give guidelines sleek, you need to let people know to wear their foundation first because this contour cream is very thin. It doesn't cover, it's not full coverage. So I don't know if you can see, it's literally not full coverage at all whatsoever. You need to just show where, it, like how it is and not tell people the shades to use, if that makes sense? Because right now, I, I just look. Take the guideline off the packaging. The palette is right, but where you, I wouldn't advise to use it without a foundation. Wear your foundation before you do. I'm gonna wipe this all off and do it the way I personally would do it with the same palette. And y'all can see and judge and tell me what the difference is. So, if I was the person to use this only, which I wouldn't use only anyways, because it's really thing. So right now I'm gonna use only, I'm gonna like slap on each time. So boom, 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 boom. That's what I do. And I obviously would apply it after my foundation. I always apply it after my foundation so but just for this testing for this review i'm not gonna wear foundation and we're gonna get right into it i'm just waiting for my face to dry from the wipe i the way lizzie atkins will do it with the sleep palette medium is i would go under my eye with the shade four Moments later. Guys, this is literally the complete boom of the way I would use sleek 
cream contour kit. This is this is done. Thank you, Sleek Makeup, for providing this palette. However, please take out the guidelines. Or if you're gonna leave with a guide, tell people to wear foundation first. Um, let them know just where to put things and the, the, not the shade, just a difference. Go tell them go a bit lighter under your eye, then go more lighter in your nose, and go slightly dark. Choose the darkest shade of your choice on this chin, and then choose the you know that's how you're gonna put it. And after every step, let them know to blend. Okay, not just apply, apply, apply. So what if absolutely no nothing? About makeup and I've gone to the shop to buy a sleep palette and I open it oh yay they tell us how to do it yay oh my god that's amazing now let me follow the steps to do it and now I literally have followed what stick told me to do and I come out looking like that's not acceptable so do not follow sleep's guideline if you are a beginner thank you all for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was helpful and i hope you will be liking commenting sharing and subscribing to my channel and do not forget to hit that notification bell to always get a notification every time i upload new content if you've enjoyed today's video let me know in the comment down below and i'll see you in my next video